my GCSE results. Oh no. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to compare my predicted GCSE results to my real results. I did a video a few months ago predicting my results which got almost 2,000 views. I'm just going to see if I was, if I gauged the difficulty of the exams right or if I was really off. So I'll start with English. I'm annoyed about this. So I predicted myself an 8 in literature and language. I got a 7 and a 6. So I was very off on that. I was expecting to get higher in English, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. But I got a 7 in lit and a 6 in language. And clearly my predictions were too high for that. Then we have maths. I predicted myself a 6. I thought the papers were really difficult and afterwards I was having a bit of a breakdown. And I remember saying in my prediction video that I'd messed it up and I'm pretty sure I got a 6. But I got a 7, which I was really happy with because the requirement for A-level is a 7, so if I didn't get that then I can't do A-level. And then we have the sciences, I was so happy about these. So biology I predicted myself an 8 and I was correct on that. Chemistry I predicted myself a 7, I actually got an 8. Chemistry my teacher actually emailed me a few days ago telling me I was 2 marks off of a 9, so I don't know if it's worth getting that remarked or not, I feel like it's a bit petty but I might get it remarked just to get one nine on my sheet because it might be quite nice. But I was really surprised at that because chemistry is, you know, a really hard GCSE. So in physics, I predicted myself a six. I actually got an eight. So I honestly don't know how this happened. I've never understood physics in my life, but somehow I managed to get an eight. I got an eight in all three sciences, so maybe I have a scientific brain. So I actually decided to change my A-levels. So I actually chose physics for A-level. I was going to do politics, but I was like, I don't really want to do it anymore. Um, and I was quite shocked with my result, especially in physics, so I thought I'll do it A-level, I'll just see how it is and then if I don't like it I can just drop it. And if you want to do medicine, two, eight, two science A-levels is good, so I thought I'll put physics in there. Yes, yeah, so I was very wrong on the physics, but in a good way because I got higher than I thought I would. And then we have my options, geography, business and Spanish. So in geography I put it to myself a 7, I actually got an 8, so I was wrong on that. And RS, I predicted myself a 7. I actually got an 8, so I was wrong on that again. And business, I predicted myself a 7, and I got a 7, so I was bang on on that. So overall, my predicted grades were... Wait. A few moments later. Level 4 and 5, lads. So overall, my predicted grades that I predicted for myself were 2 6s, 3 8s, and 5 7s. But in reality, I got 6 8s three sevens and one six. So I was I was quite far off actually. I wasn't too far off on the sevens, but I was definitely far off on the eights. So I expected to get a lot less eights than I actually got. So overall I was a pretty bad judge of how I did. I think in general GCSE results can be quite surprising in a good way. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video.